All right, I've been Telefetto, Mr. Telefetto TV. I want you to know that I'm not reaching in a lot of my posts. I'm not reaching, all right? When I say something, I pretty much have either got some kind of source on something or it's right in your face, all right? And what I'm about to tell you is right in your face. Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Yachty, they're the leaders of the new school, right? From a from a hatred standpoint, they got the color in their hair. Uh, they're a little something, and a lot of older cats don't know 40 and up. Don't listen to their music. They don't like what they stand for. They don't think they're lyrical at all. Um, but the numbers don't lie. Lil Uzi and Lil Yachty are selling shows out, especially predominantly in these white crowds. It's lit, all right? They got the new school lit right now. And there's a lot of hatred coming from the other side. I'll give my opinion afterwards. Tyrese came out a couple days ago and um, put out a post, and he posted a picture of Lil Uzi in, a, in that very ugly shirt. And he was like, this is not my hip hop. All right. So as everybody knows, the former group TGT have not been on the same page ever since Tyrese kind of went on Breakfast Club and ran his mouth about how Genuine and Tank want a third of the split. If they go back on tour, put some more music together. And Tyrese was like, you don't deserve the split. They got into it on social media. And I'm telling you guys now that Tank is responding to Tyrese. Just trying to throw a shot at him and, you know, pretty much say, bro, this is ridiculous. People like Tyrese should understand that you got to grow up. This is what Tank said on his Instagram account yesterday. I'm utterly, utterly disgusted. I've never seen so many grown black men speak out against young black kids fighting to earn a living in this already difficult world. Yes, they're different, but so was MJ and Prince. Y'all still celebrate those men highly with no thought to their differences. The crazy part is that these kids actually represent positivity. They give a voice to those who feel like outcasts and may even have a hard time fitting in. These kids make being different okay and give hope to those who may feel like these um, their life has no value. Maybe you feel better if these kids ran up to your car um, high and tooled up with extended clips and told you to get down, lay down, or be found. This would make more sense to you. You definitely don't want them to live their dreams and have fun entertaining the world. You definitely don't want them to feed their families and get their fam mama out the hood. You niggas kill me wanting your music to stay in the 80s and 90s, but gotta have the 2018 bins. Everything changes. Everything evolves. It may not be for you, but it is for the millions that stream and show, um, you know, show up and be entertained. Let these kids live. All right, there's a lot to break down. I'll try to do this the best way I can. What is Tank saying? Tank's like, look, all you old head people who, and, and he's probably coming at Tyrese specifically, you guys that keep saying that this is not your hip hop. This is not your hip hop. You don't like this. Well, Tank is saying, well, let, let, listen to the music. Their music is more positive. And, and, and most of these guys' music is drug related. Yachty's not as much as Uzi's and a lot of the other new guys. Their music is more positive than the shit you listened to growing up. So what do we want? You can't have it and then have the ice and two. Do you want the music to be like the 80s and 90s, which has helped lead to... Um, and, and by the way, there was a lot of country's music in the 80s and 90s as well, in early 2000s. But somewhere along 2002, 2003, gangster rap took over. And the trend became to talk about shooting, killing, period. period. Tanks like... Oh, so your hip hop can be the shooting and killing. That's what real hip hop to you. But these kids like Uzi and Yachty who are out just having fun. Yachty's a guy who ain't really spreading a lot of negative energy in music. Y'all don't like that, huh? It makes no sense to him. And he's calling people out like that. He's like, what do I accept in my Jackson Prince? Now, I will say to Tank, I don't think we found a, a Michael Jackson or Prince in this new era. Um, but I get the point and I agree with him wholeheartedly. The music, let's be honest, the music is not as bad right now the only problem i hear of the music right now is that these dudes are the, the drug users, not the drug sellers so that's the dz era of, of of people selling drugs trying to come up and hustle up now these guys hustle but they use their own supply so it's a little bit of differences and i get where tanks coming from he's like why are we pissed at this news they're doing everything more positive than i ever was let them get their money you had to grow up all you 40 year olds and up who claim to be so hip hop y'all act like we don't get because you see it in social media y'all act like we don't get the right to grow up and i think that's what tank's saying in his response all right thank you for the time love support talk to me in the comment box below what do you think about this it's a lot talk to me again i broke it down the best way i could subscribe to my channel comment again thank y'all so much for the love Seventy thousand strong we closing in and counting 
I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at 